Hello, Bionicle fans! It's that time of the year again. What time of year? Why, October, of course! The month dedicated to our favorite Paraka whose name sounds like a really insulting slur. Today, we will be diving into one of the themes that has truly defined the mythology, masks, or by what they're really called, Kanohi. Kanohi masks are worn by many inhabitants of the Matoran universe, Toa, Matoran, Makuta, and others. Created by the great beings to serve a purpose in their newly created world, Kanohi grant not just energy to those who wear them, but also provide many abilities that they do not possess. While many inhabitants use them, not all do, such as the Baraki, who feel they are above them. But for others, it's a way of life, a means to protect themselves and others, or simply to destroy. And for the sake of this Thoktober, we seek the ones that destroy. Bionicle is full of Kanohi that are immoral, disturbing, and just downright destructive. Today, we will find out just how destructive. Friends, my name is the Shadow One One, and join me as we unmask the top ten terrifying Kanohi masks. At number ten, we have the Kanohi Shalik, the Mask of Silence. A mask, if worn by a pure soul, could use it for good, but is an immoral one. This Kanohi was worn by beings of darkness, and more specifically, the Brotherhood of Makuta. The Shalek grants the wearer the ability to mute and deafen a target for as long as they concentrate at the same time. A mask that prevents your comrades from hearing your death is a horrifying notion, and that is why it's here on this list. At number 9, we have the Kanohi Kamau, Mask of Mind Control. The Kamau is a mask worn by various beings in the Matoran universe, and yet is not an immoral mask, despite the fact that it robs you of your free will. It's capable of being used for good, depending on the morals of the user, but still, this Kanoe grants the user to see into the mind of another and control them. It also allows them to deliver powerful but non-lethal mental blast. The Kamau cannot, however, control robots like Vaki or Spheres Magnet natives. So while it's a mask that can be used for good, Who's to say it can't also be used for evil? At number 8, we have the Kanoe Olisi, Mask of Alternate Futures. A Kanoe worn by the Matoran equivalent of the Boogeyman, a being named Karzani. The one and only Olisi was created by the great beings and used by Karzani his entire life. It appeared to be composed of four different masks passed together, a haunting image. The mask allowed its user to project a mental illusion of an alternate timeline or possible future into one or multiple beings' minds. It was used by the insane dictator to deprive those targeted by it of hope, such as when it showed Jalar what would have happened had he not acted to save Takua in the search for the Seventh Toa, or showed Teradax his fate had Mananui awakened. Any Kanoe that can make Makuta scream is absolutely deserving of its place on this list. At number 7, we have the Kanoe Felness, the Mask of Disruption. Disruptive indeed. The Felness is another immoral Kanoe because of the Makuta's Rebellion. Starting to see a trend yet? This mask allows its user to cause any one natural act of power to go out of control, effectively making the target to destroy themselves. As evidence when Makuta Gorast used her mask to cause Ikarax's teleportation power to go haywire and allowing him to be killed. Good news is, this mask can only be used if the user is touching their target. So, word to the wise, don't be near anyone wearing this Kanohi. At number 6, we have the Kanohi Omak, Mask of Dimensional Gates, a Kanohi that should be feared by all others. Ataka created the only two known Omaks in the Matoran universe, one of which went to fan-favorite warrior scholar Brutaka. The other had a variety of owners before becoming fused to the insane half skakti Vizan. The Omak is truly an unpredictable piece of work, because it doesn't just allow its users to open portals and travel to another place, it actually allows you to travel to any place. An alternate reality, a distant future, or past. It effectively allows you to cheat what the Vahi, the Mask of Time, should have done, which is time travel. It can also be used to transport targets wherever they choose, but it can only open one portal at a time. Even worse, the user can open a portal and be knocked unconscious or killed, and can still remain open. That is why the Olmak is absolutely a terrifying mask. At number 5, we have the Kanoe Krakan, Mask of Shadows. The infamous Kanoe was crafted from Protoseal by Artaka and worn by Makuta's Teradax himself for nearly 100,000 years. It was lost by Teradax after his supposed defeat with Takanuva and claimed by Makuta Ikarax before being destroyed in Kardanui's final battle. 
The Crack Ant grants the user Makuta-level range and strength of powers of fear, anger, and shadow. The mask also allows its user to see moral darkness in others. Extra added feature is the car alarm of the Kraken, aka it will automatically fire shadow bolts in any non-Makuta beings who touch it, like how it blasted Radak when he picked it up. The Mask of Shadows is possibly the most evil mask on this list, as it was worn by the most evil being, but it's not the most terrifying, and so we must go on. At number 4, we have the Mask of Scavenging. Also known as the Mask of Vulture, this Kanohi is perfect for warmongering psychopaths like Ikarax, who formerly wore this mask before taking the Mask of Shadows. The Mask of Scavenging allows its user to drain the residual life energy from the bodies of any nearby beings that have just died. This allows the user to become stronger and more able. This Kanohi encourages murder, and even Toa avoid it at all costs, but for Makuta like Ikarax. It's a gift made from the darkest pits of evil, and that is why it had to be on this list. At number 3, we have the Kanoe Avsa, Mask of Hunger. Are you hungry? Ever wanted to just absorb your food from a distance, or worse yet, turn your enemy into a being of mass destruction like yourself? Then the Avsa is for you! This Kanoe allows its user to drain light, energy, or positive emotions from its target at a distance, even to the point that it could kill them. The user conveniently absorbs said energy. This mask could be used to transform individuals into beings of darkness, like Shadow Mator. The Makuta called Vampra used his Avsa with striking effect that was his most powerful weapon in the war in Kardanui. Add that to the fact that Vampra was literally a vampire with a mask that could suck your vitals, and it didn't need anything more to join this list. At number 2, we have the Kanoe Trina, Mask of Reanimation. Zombies! Yes! A mask that can literally create an army of the undead! The Mask of Reanimation allows its user to grant artificial life to dead bodies and control them for as long as they maintain concentration. The amount of concentration to keep the corpses animated increases with the number of bodies controlled. Unlike many masks in the Matoran universe, the Trina can reanimate both biomechanical beings and organic beings from Spherus Magda. Toa would not normally wear this rare Kanoe because they consider it immoral. But the Kanoe Inaika gave it to Matoro to test him, but even he found its power disturbing and only used it when he had no other choice. A mask that can create zombies? How could it not be on this list? At number one, we have the Kanoe Inaika, Mask of Death. I mean life. I mean Mask of Life, but mostly death because let's be honest, all this mask does is cause death. The Inaika is by far the most unpredictable mask in the entire list because it can literally do anything except Resurrect on its own, but even that's debatable, aka Hydraxon. The Kanoe Inaika is the legendary Mask of Life, created by the Great Beings to act as a failsafe, to restore the Great Spirit Mananui's health in times of need and crisis. However, the Mask could also kill all of its inhabitants if the Matoran universe was beyond saving, aka Teradax's reign. The Inaika was a living mask with a simple cognitive mind. It also has so many abilities and powers that they're too many to count. Well, let's try. Has the ability to create guardians, has the ability to place curses, has the ability to shape shift itself, leak life energy that can change what it touches, transform the Toa Naika into Toa Mari, change Dekar into Hydraxon, can resurrect Mananui at the cost of another life, accelerate aging or devolve beings like Makuta, create a body for itself, become Toa Naika, grant elemental powers, but really the list can go on and on for what it can do. That's what makes this Kanoe so scary. Nothing is more unpredictable than a living mask with the power to give life to a universe or obliterate it. And that is why the Kanoe Inaika is the most terrifying Kanoe mask in Bionicle. And that concludes Top 10 Terrifying Bionicle Kanoe Masks. Tell me what you thought of my list, and what Kanoe would you include on yours? Have a happy Thoctober everyone, and get your masks ready, but just make sure they're none of the above. They might be the end of you. <laughs> <laughs>